up? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't already guessed from the title, this is going to be a video on how I achieved this kind of creepy anti-Valentine's Day look, but... I really dig it. So before we go ahead and continue, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already and comment down below some black emojis. So I know that you made it this far in my video because if you didn't, then damn, I really suck. <laughs> so let me go ahead and quit on babbling and just keep watching. Alrighty guys, so first things first, I'm going to prep the skin. I've already moisturized, um, but I've been really digging going in with my MAC Prep and Prime spray to just freshen up the skin, so I'm going to do that really quickly. And this is a great primer as well. It gets kind of tacky on the skin, so I really, really love it. So as that spray is setting on my face, I'm going to go in with the Candy Lips Extreme Lip Plumper. This is how it looks right here they sent this to me and i was really really excited to try this out but since this is the extreme one your lips can get huge i mean i already i don't want to say big lips but i have full lips and i just love using this whenever i just want to have that extra oomph to my pictures because it just makes my lips look so nice and big and while i have that on my lips obviously i can't talk so i'm gonna go ahead and go in with the dr brandt pores no more luminizer primer i really like it i'm gonna use it a couple more times and see if i love it i really do like how it looks though i'm not sure if i love it just yet i have to use it a few more times so basically for the lip plumper um i just squeeze it with my hand and then pucker up my lips and then let go and it just suctions your lips for you Yes. So as you can see, they are definitely bigger. And the first couple times you use it, you are gonna experience bruising. And the more you use it, the less bruising you'll get until eventually you just don't bruise at all because your lips have adjusted to that whole routine. And it is only temporary. Your first time using it, it'll probably last about two to three days. But also if you have like a comb, or toothbrush, if you just slightly brush over your bruising for like two minutes at a time, it'll definitely help the bruising go away. So for foundation, I am gonna be going in with my Sephora foundation stick. This one is in the shade Bamboo. I really love this stick, it works really well. I've always wanted to try the Makeup Forever one, um, but I saw this one and it was $20. I was like, why not? And I actually really love it. It is a bit darker than my actual color, so what I do is just go in with this other foundation stick. This is the Lancome, uh, don't really know how to say that. It's abbreviated TIU makeup stick. Um, this one was sent to me by um, Lancome through um, Octoly, and since it is a bit lighter, we're using these two together has been phenomenal. I really like this Lancome stick. I really want to go back and get it in my shade. They sent it to me and it was just not my shade at all, which I was pretty bummed about, but I really do like how it looks. So I want to go back in and get my shade. So I'm just going to blend this in with this buffing brush from Morphe. And as you can see, those two together really blend well. So for concealer, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me. This is one of my holy grail concealers. Like, I love this one so much. And this one is in the shade 10 Light. And then whatever is remaining on my brush, I just like to blend that into my lid because I like using concealer as the base for my eyeshadow. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Jordana Sculpt and Go Contour Stick. And then this one is in the shade 3 Deep. This is their darkest one, I believe. And I love this stick for cream contouring. It's so easy to blend and it just goes on so smooth on the skin. And it just looks amazing, like the shade is so good. And I'm just gonna buff this in with my Real Technique Sculpting Brush. And you also wanna remember, whenever you're contouring, you wanna blend upward so it lifts the cheek. And now I'm just gonna go in with some more concealer and just clean it up a bit. 
I'm gonna go along the sides of the nose contour with the highlight so this helps slim down the nose. Sorry guys, my camera cut off. I have no idea when it cut off, but the last thing I did was just set my face and I used some of the RCMA No Color Powder and I used that to set my under eyes. So moving on, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Face Powder. This one is in the shade 10 Fair Light and I'm gonna use this to set the rest of my face and I'm just gonna go ahead and just use a little sponge to do that. I just dip my sponge into the powder then tap it on my hand to remove any excess and then I just set my face with it. So now for contouring, I'm going to go in with one of my favorites. If you've been watching me, you already know. I really love the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. And this one is in Dulce de Leche. I'm going to use the contouring shade to carve out my cheekbones. And now for bronzing, again, I'm going in with the same thing I always use. This is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. And I'm going in with my Morphe R7 brush. Really love this brush for bronzing. It just gives my skin such a nice and healthy, glowy bronze. I really love it. If you can't tell by now. Now I'm going back in with that Maybelline powder in the sponge. And I'm just going to clean up the contour a bit. I really want to look nice and sharp for this look, so I'm doing that. I'm not baking necessarily, I am just putting that powder right underneath and pressing it in with my sponge. And keep in mind, I'm not taking a whole bunch of powder right off the bat, I'm just taking the tiniest bit and using that to clean up. So now that we put all of that powder all over my face, especially if you have dry skin, your face can kind of feel like so I'm going in with, again, the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. And before that spray really dries, I'm going to go in with some highlight. I'm going in with the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials highlighter, and this one is in the shade Glazed Donut. This one just gives you such a beautiful and icy glow. And then I'm just gonna use my ring finger and I'm just gonna put that right here at the tip of my nose and then leave a little bit of a gap and then do the rest of my nose. So that is basically it for the face. I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and do one eye and I'll be right back to show you exactly what I did. Okay you guys, so go ahead and grab your Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette. If you don't have this palette yet, what is you doing? This palette is so good, you guys. Like, legit, Morphe has just been killing it in the eyeshadow game lately. If you don't have this palette, go ahead and pause this video. Go to morphebrushes.com, add 39A to your cart. Use discount code TRENDMOOD to save yourself 10% and just buy it. No regrets, because I promise you, you're not going to regret it. It's such a good palette. I just cannot enforce that enough. It's a really, really good palette. So if you don't have this yet, buy it. So this is how the palette looks. I did use this in my other Valentine's Day look on my channel. So we're just going to use a couple of shades um, for this look. It doesn't take much to do a smoky eye, honestly. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is this middle guy right here. This is what we're going to use for our transition shade. So I'm going to go ahead and use that transition shade and I'm just taking that on my E27 brush. And earlier, remember, we did put that concealer all over our lids as a base. I did not set it. That's something I've been doing lately. I find that these shadows come out a lot more pigmented when you do it that way. So I'm just blending this all over, basically, in my transition area above my crease. Going in with a bit more, I want the orange and red tones to really stand out because with the black it can kind of lose itself. So I want to go in really, really heavy with this since the black is already super dark. And then I'm just going to swirl the brush on like the back of my hand for a little bit just to kind of get any excess powder off. 
And I'm just gonna slowly blend out any harsh lines right here at the top. And as you can see, I'm kind of angling my brush so you can get a nice and even blend. So the next shade I'm picking up is right above our transition shade. It's this red brown shade right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that same brush. So what can really help you achieve that really dark, black, smoky eye is having a black base. What I love to use is the Inglot Gel Liner. This one is number 77, which is just the black gel liner. I'm gonna go ahead and put that all over my lid and this helps make your black eyeshadow just be super matte black. I love doing this step. This is very important whenever you just wanna have just a nice, clean, black, smoky eye. I highly recommend using a gel liner or just a black um, shadow base for your smoky eye. So I'm just taking that gel liner on this little shading brush right here and I'm gonna put that all over my lid. So now I'm just taking that black eyeshadow in the palette and I'm taking it on this ColourPop eyeshadow packing brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and set that gel liner. Basically, I'm putting it right on top. And one thing I did forget to mention as I was applying the gel liner, you don't wanna put it too far up your lid because eventually you want it to fade into whatever transition color you're doing. So if you have it like if you put it all the way up here, you're just gonna have a harsh black line. It's gonna be really hard to blend it out. So that's why I kind of stopped it right here. And at this point, that's when I'm gonna start the gradient effect into our transition shade. So basically I'm just packing on that black and kind of like patting, when I'm patting in the brush, it's kind of wiggling a bit. This is a cool step because I feel like it really helps diffuse harsh lines. Like it doesn't look as harsh and it makes things easier when you start blending them out. Whereas if you just go in like a straight line like this, it just is really harsh and you just have to take some time to blend it out. But I feel like if you do this, it makes it easier. So now I'm just gonna turn my brush this way to where it's going up and down. I'm just gonna softly start blending outwards. So now I'm gonna go back in with this shade and I'm also gonna softly dip my brush into this shade. I just feel like this helps bring out more of the red undertones in the shade. And I'm using a ColourPop fluffy uh, blending brush. I'm just gonna put that right here and just blend the black into the transition shade. So this helps everything look nice and blended. And the rest is gonna be kind of repetitive. Now I'm just gonna take that black brush again and just blend it upwards. And you're just gonna continue to do this until you get your desired look. So now I'm just taking some of that Ofra Glaze Donut Highlight and I'm gonna put that right underneath my brow bone just to highlight this area. So now I'm just taking this It Cosmetics No Tug Gel Eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly tight line. And since I already have it out, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line. Ugh, I always cry. So now I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out my lower lash line. I'm just using that black eyeshadow. And then right under that, whatever is left on my brush right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and smoke it out. So for lashes, since this is a really dark look, sometimes it's really hard for your lashes to really show through. But these lashes from Delarza Cosmetics, I feel like are just so perfect for this look. They're still super dramatic and I feel like you can still see them despite our eyes being really black. So these are in the style Girl Buy, which I think is so cute, especially for like anti-Valentine's Day. It's like, 
Girl, bye. Let me alone. I'm not into all of this shit, okay? So this is, again, from Delarza Cosmetics. And you can save 10% if you use the code GLAD. I'll have their website linked down below. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these lashes. Okay, so I went ahead and put the lashes on and applied some mascara to my lower lashes. So now for my inner corner highlight, again, I'm just going to go in with Glazed Donut. And just kind of brighten up our inner corner just a little bit. I don't want the inner corner highlight to be too heavy or basically as heavy as I usually do it. This is kind of subtle. Okay, so this is like a last thought touch. I'm um, just going to draw a little black heart right here. Kind of be extra and cute. Oh my god, can you even tell that's a heart? It was supposed to be small, but I kept messing up and it just got bigger and bigger. So I'm just going to do one side because I know if I try to do the other side, it's just not even going to look even. So I'm not even going to try and stress myself. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with Clean Slate Cosmetics Lip Composite. Um, this is their black one. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the lips really quickly. Okay, so I could stop here, but to kind of amp it up a bit, I am going to extend my lips a little bit so it's kind of like I'm smiling but like in a creepy way so I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly Alrighty guys, so that is it for this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below what your favorite part is or what you learned or what you would like to see me do in my next video. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye. Mommy. Yes, baby. My eyes keep getting messy. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens. That's how they look when you pull it down. Oh, wow. It gets red? Mm -hmm. It gets, yeah, it gets red when you pull it down. <laughs> Say bye, gladiators. Bye, gladiators. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video. <laughs> okay, go with daddy. Oh, oh, I love my mommy and daddy. I love you too, my I sweetie love my baby. Mommy and daddy. Oh my god, you guys, I just poked myself in the eye with my lash tweezers. That's definitely a don't.